Good morning and welcome to our Palm Sunday morning prayer with the Oblit family. My name is Mossy Lyons and I'm joining you from London today. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, stretch out your wounded hands to heal, to bless and to strengthen us and draw us to yourself and to one another in love. From today, Palm Sunday, and through next week, Holy Week, Jerusalem is where everything happens. The city becomes the epicenter where the life of Jesus moves to its destined end and where new life begins in resurrection. The gospel accounts are vivid, stark, detailed and uncompromising. Jerusalem in our times is a place of political and religious unease, strife and turmoil, a place not at peace with itself. In Psalm 122, the psalmist asks us, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem in verse 6 and goes on in verse 7 to say may peace reign in your walls O Jerusalem. I suggest that as an Oblate family celebrating and commemorating the central events which form the foundation of our faith we pray today and maybe during the during Holy Week for the peace of Jerusalem and the surrounding region. And now I'd like to read you today the, the account of Jesus entering that city on the back of a colt. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a cold tide on which no one has ever sat. Untie and bring it. And if anyone says to you, what are you doing? Say, the master has asked us to do this. And we'll send it back immediately. And they went away and found the cold at the door out in the open street and they untied it. And those who stood there said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? And they told them what Jesus had said, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments on it, and he sat upon it. And many spread their garments on the road, and others spread leafy branches <coughs> which they had cut from the fields. And those who went before and those who followed cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is coming. Hosanna in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. I love rivers. <clears throat> I'm mesmerized by their flow. I live close to Greenwich in London and I often walk from the observatory, the Meridian Line, down the hill to the River Thames. I can sit transfixed by the Thames, hypnotised, soothed by its invisible, gentle but powerful flow. Google tells me that that flow has gone on for the last 140 million to 170 million years. For me, Jesus going into Jerusalem on the back of a colt 
today and the events which follow there is historically the greatest example ever of the powerful flow of love. He went to Jerusalem to fulfill the mission set out for him by the Father. Just as driven, I expect, by the Spirit as when he went into the desert, which we remembered at the beginning of Lent. Father, Son and Spirit, the love triangle, the source of all love. As a faithful Jew in Jerusalem, he would celebrate the Passover only to become the new Passover, ensuring his continued presence in love in the great Agape meal, the Eucharist. He would give us a lesson in service by his own example. He washed and wiped the feet of his followers. To each he bent down, touched and probably looked into their eyes. Such pure objective love. Victim to betrayal, denial, lack of support in Gethsemane, indifference by, by the political setup of the time, weak religious leadership, humiliated, scourged, crowned with thorns, made carry a cross, stripped bare, goaded on the cross, and a brutal crucifixion. Victim indeed, but never a hint of victimhood. Through all the pain and suffering, love. Love for the will of the Father. Love in silent acceptance. In consoling the women of Jerusalem when he met his mother. In allowing Veronica to wipe his face in giving Mary to John and vice versa, in forgiving the good thief. How do we walk alongside this Jesus? Jesus, the man. How do we cope with the mix of life, the pain, the hurts, the letdowns, the sickness, COVID-19? suffering, the dark moments, death, and yes, trust that there will be a resurrection. I would like to just leave me and you with a question on a character trait, something to reflect on today and during the week. Am I prone to victimhood? That ugly trait the ugly sin, the wallow in self-pity sin. Lord, help me to love through the mix of life, putting no blocks to my flow of love in good days and yes, in not so good days, so that I can fulfill my mission as I look into the eyes of the people around me. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. Have a lovely day and celebrate Holy Week and Easter well. Thank you.